Hey Pepper Geeks, we're the Pepper Geeks. 2020 has been a super crazy year, but what's even crazier is that we have tried over 100 hot sauces. We're at around 100 hot sauces this year alone. We have over 50 open bottles in our refrigerator right now. It's getting a little crazy in there, but today we're gonna go through eight of our favorite hot sauces of the year. Yes, so these sauces were not necessarily released in 2020. They're just the eight sauces that really left a lasting impression on us and it was not an easy thing to do to narrow down. We're not gonna go in order from least favorite to favorite. We're just gonna go alphabetical because we like them all so much. If you wanna see even more of our favorites, check out our article on peppergeek.com. We went and did, I think, 17. We couldn't pick a, an even number here, as you can tell, but if you wanna see more of our favorites, we'll leave a link in the description for that article below. You ready? Let's get started. So first into the hot slot here is Carnival Hot Sauce from Karma Sauces. This is Gene Olzek's creation. It's a really simple hot sauce and it's pretty spicy. And I went through, I think, two or three bottles of it and I'm down to the, the last couple tablespoons of this one. It's so good, it's sweet, pays homage to the peppers themselves. Um, just a fantastic hot sauce all around. In terms of heat level, it's about an eight out of 10, so pretty spicy. Out of all of our favorites, this one is probably one of the hottest ones. Um, you, you're definitely, you go through this one real fast. We've, we've had a few bottles of this and it's so good on just cheese and crackers. It's a little bit challenging uh, in terms of heat, but it's just enough to keep me coming back for more, so. Yeah, next in the hot slot is Dawson's Cremini Habanero Hot Sauce. This has been one of my favorite hot sauces to use this year. I love mushrooms. I love the flavor of the sauce. And Dawson's puts out a, a great, they, they put out a great sauce. Their original habanero is delicious, but this one just, I don't know, it really stuck with me. All of Dawson's sauces just have this velvety smooth texture. They use uh, olive oil in all of their sauces and it's just so velvety and rich and it, it just tastes fancy. It kind of goes along with their whole theme of sort of high-end hot sauce here. You have the wax seal and the fancy label and everything. Yeah, we eat a lot of veggie pizza and this sauce really complements any veggie-based dish. The mushroom flavor does come through. It's, it's really unique and delicious. Recommend it a lot. If you like mushrooms, you'll like this hot sauce. And in terms of heat, I think it's maybe a four out of 10. It's yeah. Not it's not, it's not about the heat here, it's more about the flavor. The flavor. Yeah, I love this one. I've, I've gone through a few bottles and kudos to Dawson's. Next in the hot slot is Dragon's Blood Elixir's Garlic Paprikash Hot Sauce. This was our go-to hot sauce for pizza for the longest time. This actually comes from a, a local hot sauce maker in Connecticut. We found him at a farmer's market in the area and he makes a lot of different hot sauces ranging from this, which is pretty mild. I think it's maybe a three out of 10 in terms of heat, all the way up to, you know, 15 out of 15. I think he, he has a scale <laughs> of 15. Uh, he makes some really hot stuff too, but just delicious flavor. This is sweet. It's, it starts off with some salsa and it has some peach in there, uh, tomatoes, just lots of really good flavors. Yeah, Dragon's Blood Elixir is definitely worth checking out. They're not a huge hot sauce producer, but they are local to us in Connecticut and we really like everything they put out. And this particular sauce, the Garlic Pepper Crash, we actually bought um, one of the large bottles and went through that pretty quickly. It was our go-to pizza sauce for a while. Just, you go through it so fast, it's so good. They also come up with some really quirky names for their hot sauces. Like if you wanna go a little bit hotter than this, they have the Wild Elephant Deterrent, which is a super spicy one and it also tastes fantastic. So definitely check out Dragon's Blood Elixir. Next in the hot slot is Yellow Bird's Habanero Hot Sauce. So this hot sauce is delicious. It is so bright and fruity and flavorful. It comes in this squeezable bottle, which is just addicting. You grab it in the fridge and you just wanna squeeze it on everything. Um, they make a lot of hot sauces. They're all delicious, organic. They're not all They're, organic, but they do have yeah. organic options, which is nice. This is the organic version of their habanero. We went through this, I think it took us maybe a week and a half, just because that squeezable format just makes it so easy to just throw it on anything, you know? Yeah, this sauce is very good on eggs. Um, and I think any habanero-based hot sauce really just tastes good on eggs, but this one's very good. Very easy to dress up an omelet. It's also good on tacos, um, noodles, rice, very versatile. Heat level, it's about a five out of 10, nothing crazy, but really bright, happy flavor. If 
if I yeah. can describe it. It's just a happy flavor, really. It's a good way to put it. Yeah, definitely. it kind of coincides with their brand, too. Like, you know, Yellowbird, it's just this bright, happy brand, and the, the sauce is, is absolutely delicious. So, one of our favorites this year, for sure. Next up is the hot Bayesian barbecue from Pirate's Lantern Sauces. They call it a barbecue, but it's really more of like a mustardy type sauce. And Crystalline really loved this one. She went through so much of it, so I'll let her say a few yeah, things. Yeah, this, I mean, this Barbados style hot sauce barbecue, it's one of those sauces the first time I tried it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is really, really good. This sauce is absolutely perfect for hot dogs. Hot dogs, burgers, sandwiches, you know, brats, any kind of meat. <laughs> sandwich type thing. Paninis, you know, any melty sandwich that, that needs that little leveling up. This is the sauce to do it. It's not a super spicy hot sauce. It's a three out of 10 maybe, yep. um, but the flavor is, it's absolutely delicious. I mean, you can kind of think of it as a mustard replacement, but it's just so much better than any mustard I think I've ever tried. And we actually tasted this and another of Pirate's Lantern sauces in a video on our channel. So if you're interested, check it out. Yeah, we really enjoyed this one this year. Next in the hot slot is not going to be a surprise to anybody. Los Calientes Rojo is a favorite of many. Yeah, they started with the original Los Calientes on the Hot Ones show on YouTube, and then they did this sort of cross up with different pepper varieties, but it's basically the same recipe, but it uses red jalapenos and more habanero. So it's a little bit spicier. It's got a deeper red color, and this one just, just sang to us. It's so, so delicious. It's sweet. It's sort of like Caribbean barbecue. Uh, I, I don't really know how to describe the flavor. You really just need to try it for yourself if you haven't already. Yeah, the flavor is pretty complex, but it really complements a variety of different foods. We go through this one very quickly. We put it on pizza. We put it on cheese and crackers. We put it on burritos and tacos. It's it's just a good flavor sauce, and it's it's going to level up any dish that you're looking to add some flavor to. Fun fact, the recipe for this was actually developed by the same creator of this sauce over here, Gene Olsek from Karma. So he's just, he's just a wizard in the kitchen and he's made some of our favorites. In terms of heat, this is around a six out of 10. Uh, it's pretty spicy, a little bit spicier than the original Los Calientes. Yeah, definitely worth checking out. Next in the hot slot is Year of the Dog by Lucky Dog Hot Sauces. This was definitely one of our favorites this year. The great thing about this hot sauce is that it perfectly complements um, any sort of Asian food. I, and I, you know, I eat a lot of spring rolls for some reason and rice dishes and I, I just, this sauce really, it goes so well with that because of the pineapple flavors. Yeah, it is a pineapple first hot sauce, but you might not know it yeah, tasting it for the it's, first time. It's, it's not just pineapple with a little bit of pepper in there. They, they've really made the pineapple flavor sing. Yeah, it's unique, it's different, and it, it's not too spicy. It's probably, it's a three out of 10, very versatile. You can go through this very fast. Very good on Hawaiian pizza as well because of the pineapple. So yeah, we, we loved this one. We went through it quickly. We ended up getting another bottle and so. And so here it is. <laughs> Last up in the hot slot is Zombie Apocalypse by Torchbearer. And I have never had a Torchbearer sauce that I did not like, but this one, it just kind of took the cake for me. It's absolutely delicious. It's a ghost pepper um, based sauce and the heat level is, it's significantly more spicy than some of the other ones that we picked as our favorite. Yeah, maybe a seven or eight out of 10. First ingredient is ghost peppers. So you really get the pepper flavor in this sauce as well as the carrots. And the first time I had the sauce was actually on beef stroganoff, which is kind of weird. And I'm like, oh wow. And it just kept adding mm. it. And I'm like, this is a keeper. And ever since then, um, it's it's just really good with pizza, any noodles or comfort food dishes, it levels the heat up with that. Yeah, I also like the velvety smooth texture of this one. It's got a little bit of vegetable oil in there, so it's just got that like creamy te texture and color and look to it. And one other thing about this company in particular, that their label design is always super quirky and interesting. So this is just one example of it, but they have many other sauces and they're all equally interesting to look at. So that's it. That is our top eight sauces of 2020. It was not an easy thing to narrow down. And as this is our last video of the year, we wanna just say thank you for watching Pepper Geek. We really appreciate your viewership. 
Uh, we're excited to reach the 2,000 subscriber milestone, hopefully by the end of the year, and continue going into 2021 and beyond. We're planning a big pepper garden this year, and we're so excited to share everything with you, all of our growing techniques and peppers and hot sauce reviews. And since this is our last video of the year, we just wanted to share some of the other things that we do in case you weren't aware. So first we have a weekly newsletter. It's called Pepper Week. You can spice up your inbox every Sunday with that. If you would like to check out peppergeek.com mail. We'll have a link in the description below as well. Head over to Instagram where we post all sorts of pictures of our favorite hot sauces and unique peppers that we're growing. And of course, peppergeek.com. We are constantly adding new articles. Uh, where you can learn how to grow peppers, you can see some of the other hot sauces that we've reviewed, and you can learn some unique facts about interesting pepper varieties that we've grown. Thanks so much for a wonderful year of 2020. Well, actually, it wasn't a wonderful year, but it was a wonderful year for Pepper Geek, and we we're just absolutely thrilled going into 2021 and all the things that we get to share with you guys. So, we'll see you then. Yeah. Thanks see you for soon. watching.